Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, what's your age range? Okay. Uh, we go from, <laughs> from birth to uh, 66 is the oldest student <laughs> I had. Uh, she was a grandma and she wanted to refresh her skills on math. And she just wanted mm. some accountability, some support, some mentoring, somebody to do it with. Yeah. Nice. So, and, and that's a lot of the work that I do with the teenagers. Mm. If they choose, they can uh, arrange times to meet with me or other people that may be more expert on what they're doing. Other parents. So all the parents that are in the school are um, considered uh, educators. Yeah. Even yeah. though I hate using school tech te terms. <laughs> yeah. um, Wendy Priesnitz just put out a, a reprint of a document of stop. How do we stop using uh, words? How do we stop pretend being like school exists? Let's pretend right, school right. didn't <laughs> exist. Uh, right, how do we right. communicate in words that are just positive learning words mm -hmm. and taking away the uns and the d's and right. you know we don't want to d school we don't want to unschool we just we want to be self-directed we want right. to be natural learning we want to be higher order thinking and using all those terms that are more they're really more descriptive and more accurate to mm -hmm. the type of mm -hmm. learning. I don't want to tell people what I don't do. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> tell people what I do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible? is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.